In 2011, when I first visited the landscape, it was an eye-opener because what I imagined would be a large, dense, forested landscape turned out to be a, instead dominated by trucks, large-scale coal and limestone mines, and a lot of forest had been converted to industries and mines. And instead of clear rivers, we found dead rivers, uh, literally polluted by the cement industries. Curious to find out how much forest was lost uh, due to this unprecedented mining and in industries in the landscape, we carried out a research using satellite data and what we found out was that more than 60% of the community forests were lost to industries and mining. In Jainta Hills itself, we have very, very less protected area. There's not even a single protected area except Narpu Wildlife Sanctuary has become one of the protected area. This Narpo Wildlife Sanctuary was officially uh, notified on June 2014. The first PA in the whole of Giant Hills District. The most important vision behind creating this wildlife sanctuary is raising it to a status of a sanctuary will increase the protection and the management, which are also enhancing the habitats for wildlife like the we have here a hollow gibbon because earlier this hollow gibbon was in other part of the district but with the passage of time due to habitat destruction we could find it only into few pockets so creating a pa in this particular area will help to conserve the wildlife of the district as well as to preserve their habitats and also, at that point of time, uh, no survey has ever been conducted on this uh, Narpo Wildlife Sanctuary, which was earlier a reserve forest. So it was uh, starting for us from a scratch, creating a digitized map, delineating the boundary of the reserve forest, which we are going to take as a sanctuary. For patrolling, we used to go walk inside the forest for like three, four days to reach our destinations. We do things which are supposed to be done. This is the 12 is compartment number. Okay. Okay, 74 is the point number of the compartment 12. Red and yellow, the parallel lines. Okay. Two parallel lines indicates the boundary of the sanctuary. Our animal survey and the hunting survey showed that most of the animals now are threatened, particularly the ones which were large sized. And the hunting, which used to be local and small scale before, was now transformed into a very cash based community enterprise through which community de derived a lot of cash income. During our patrolling, we used to see sign of poachers. They put traps, they make camps, the platforms where they used to sit. We used to damage all those. Through patrolling, we can find that there are lots of poachers inside the sanctuary, but we cannot do anything due to shortage of staff. 
with a handful of staff, it is very difficult to manage each and every nook of the PA because prior to the creation of the sanctuary, the South Stang was only around 23. And even after the creation of this sanctuary, the staff strength remained the same. So this is the main challenge for us. It's not all dark and not all hope is lost for uh, the Nagpur Wildlife Sanctuary. The Forest Department under the uh, leadership of the CCF, uh, Mr. P.S. Nongbri, and the DFO, Ms. H. Lato, has put tremendous amount of work in the ground to secure this forest and to conserve the area. We do have also some poaching challenges, but this has reduced compared to whatever must have been earlier because with the declaration of a uh, sanctuary, most of the people of Jainta Hills also they realize that um, Narpu is the only forest area in Jainta Hills itself which the animals are surviving. I have been to Narpu and we have seen all the signs and symptoms that there are lots of animals, many, many endangered animals and so on, even many children species which are really endangered. Along with us, the forest department has done a survey of the mammals and the ground birds of Jantia Hills. Mostly the mammals are very cryptic and shy. So we put like this kind of automated infrared camera traps. So it gets triggered by body heat and movement of the animals. So we just choose a trail and then we find a proper spot to intercept that trail with the camera so that if any animal passes through this way, it gets recorded. During our research in the landscape, we recorded over 50 species of mammals, over 300 species of birds, and over 400 species of butterflies. So it shows that the Narpur Reserve Forest not only nurtured a high level of biodiversity, but also it had one of the largest contiguous patches of primary dense forest that exists in Meghalaya today. As an initiative to include the community in the conservation efforts, we have started a number of initiatives. Uh, one of them is to utilize the immense knowledge that the hunters have of the landscape and the animals and use them to conserve the forest and also monitor the animals. So we are in the initial stage of developing the French village, working with them, helping them how to improve the livelihood, to undergo training like beekeeping, mushroom cultivation and even weaving and in a way to stand hand in hand with us to protect this existing wildlife. Every now and then we conduct our patrolling duties. It takes a very long journey to walk in the jungle. It's not easy to reach to the spot. We have to sacrifice ourselves also regarding taking food in the jungle. Sometimes walking for us, we wouldn't have even a drop of water. We have to get proper location to get some good water to drink and make food also. We have searched some animals also who had been domesticated by 
people and with that animals we have searched and rescued, we release them back to the wild that is in the sanctuary. We must do all that is possible to conserve this forest, not only because it contains a rich diversity of species and ecological benefits, but also because the Jantia people has deep and intimate links with this forest, which means that losing this forest will also be a great loss for the lives and culture of the Jantia people. Actually, we have taken a special dedication that duty is a worship. There is no, no reason why we are here to do and die. For the glory of God, for the glory of our state.